Hey folks, continuing with the vein of staying in the fight, I want to talk to you a little bit today about mindset. Uh, first off, I want to give a shout out and refer you to The Immortal, and I will put a link below on his video on uh, Jeff Cooper's color codes. This is color coding for awareness, white, yellow, etc. You need to take a look at that video, I'm not going to redo that here. So go over and check out Immortal's channel and, and check out that video and subscribe. Mindset. Mindset specific to fighting. Guys especially always have this thing in their head, yeah, you know, I was, I was in a fight in third grade, gosh, I was tough. All right, the fights that you've been on in, in your life for 99% uh, of people out there are fights that involve ego or pecking order. These two things are the majority of the fights in your life. And guess what? It's like two cops uh, fighting over a hen. They, they preen and they show and they, they peck at each other a little bit and they scratch at each other a little bit. And then the winner is, is decided and, and all is well in the chicken coop. All right? That is not the type of fight I'm talking about today. I don't care if you were in three or four brawls in college when you were a little bit boozed up and somebody challenged your manhood. What I'm talking about today is fighting for your life. I'm talking about fighting when someone is coming to take something from you. Take your property, take your life. Most of this type of fight will start with a surprise. The person might be across the room when they charge at you, or they might be behind you and you never see them. But it is always their action and your reaction. There are a lot of illusions in fighting, uh, a lot of stuff that's taught that, that should not be. Uh, for one thing, uh, about once a year on the news, you'll see where the police department is giving self-defense classes to women. Nothing wrong with that. You'll see the poor cop that's dressed up in the red padded suit, and the women are saying, no, 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 this is good, but this is only half of it. This is only half of it. You have to be hit. You have to have been hit over and over again to understand the impact of being struck, of being kicked, of being kicked while you're down, of being stabbed over and over again. You are not going to get this from self -defense, some self-defense force. When someone has decided they are going to take from you, whether it be your property or your life, they are already committed and they are acting. You are reacting to their actions. Most forms of martial arts are also not good at teaching against this. Many forms will teach you katas and teach you to fight people of that same style of fighting in an organized environment. Sure, the Taekwondo black belt can handle his own on the street, but that's after years and years and years of practice. Much of the training that I myself have had, whether it's pressure point control technique, PR24, hand-to-hand, -hand, whatever, has been at a 50% type of level. I criticized it then and I criticize it now because nothing teaches you to deal with the impact of being hit over and over again and having to respond to that. Your objective when you're attacked in this manner is to regain the momentum of the fight. You regain the momentum of the fight by furious violence of action and not stopping and not stopping until that attacker has disengaged or he lies dead at your feet. Where can you get some training like this? First thing, you can join the Marine Corps and get in the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. If you do not have four years to spare, I recommend you go and look up Krav Maga, K-R-A-V-M-A-G-A. -A. Krav Maga is the Israeli style of self-defense, and it focuses on disabling your attacker. Next to that, I recommend that you find an MMA gym, mixed martial arts, and go there to train. And if none of the above apply to you, go join a boxing ring. Mix it up in the ring, spar with someone that you don't know, and get hit and feel what it's like to get hit and have to think and respond and move, shoot, communicate, etc. and so on, and work your way through that situation. Again, nothing can prepare you for the fight to defend your stuff and your life with your bare hands except for fighting with your bare hands. Keep this all in mind, get out, try it, because this is overlooked by most preppers. They are not dealing with this, they are, are picturing two rounds center of mass, 
and gee, I've saved the day. No, that's not good enough. You need to do more to defend yourself and your family. Thanks. Stay safe.